For the next demonstration, I'd like to go over the GSM module. This module is used for communications when perhaps there's no phone line at your home or business. Um, or it can also be used to back up the phone line in case someone cuts the phone line outside and attempts to break in. The GSM module will allow the communications to be transmitted using a wireless technology. So before we get started with any programming, I'd like to go over the uh, components of the GSM module. We've got the GSM module itself here and its connecting cable. Then we've got the backup battery for the GSM module. In case we lose AC power, it will still run. Then we have the AC power transformer. And in this box, we'll find the adapter, hardware kit, and a connection block for our screw terminals for power to the back of the GSM module. Okay, and then the only thing we'll need besides the GSM module will be an activated SIM card, which I have here. Uh, you can buy these on prepaid, one year at a time. And then our connecting wire for our AC power transformer. So I'll start right here with our wire. Stripping back. About three inches of insulation to reveal two wires inside, of which we'll just strip back less than a quarter of an inch of insulation. And we'll make our connection to our blue block. And in this blue block, you'll see here there's two holes and two screw heads to tighten down. Go ahead and insert the wires into the holes as such. And then tighten them down. Okay, once we have our wires connected, make sure that they're snug and they should not touch each other. Okay, and now we have our blue block wired to our connecting cable. Let's go ahead and wire our transformer on the other side. Again, strip back a couple of inches of insulation to reveal two interior wires. And on this side, you'll Strip back almost a quarter of an inch, if not a whole quarter of an inch. So copper is exposed, cutting any excess off. And wiring our transformer, you'll find two screws. We'll loosen these. Wrap the wire around the screw terminal from left to right and tighten these. It's easiest one at a time. Make sure it's tight. Also be sure that these two wires do not touch at all at any point. So I've got my transformer completely wired. I will then flip the GSM module over to reveal the mounting bracket. This mounting bracket is held on with a Phillips head screw at the bottom which will loosen. Okay, then just slide the bracket off. Take it off to the side for now. On the back of the GSM module you find a little compartment where we'll install our backup battery which is here. Take the backup battery. There'll be a white connection end and a place to plug it in in the compartment.
here we go. Okay. There's a raceway for our power transformer wire and a couple of pins labeled 9VAC where the blue block can simply be pressed down onto thereby making a good connection. Once I have my items together, don't plug in the transformer just yet because we're going to install the SIM card here in the SIM card holder. To open this holder, just slide it back a little and then lift up gently and place the SIM card into the holder Press it down and then slide it just a little bit to the left that way. That locks the SIM holder, preventing it from falling out. Now that we have our SIM card installed, our batteries installed, we'll go ahead and put our mounting bracket and battery cover door back on. then our bracket. I'm going to place the screw back into the bracket just so I know where it is until I'm ready to mount it on the wall. And you don't want to mount the GSM module until after you've set it up. It's best to set this up on a table. Then you'll be able to temporarily hold your GSM module up in the area you wish to mount it to be sure that your signal strength is very strong in that location. Okay. The next step to connecting the GSM module is to go ahead and prepare the main console by removing its mounting bracket. It's a small Phillips head screw holding its bracket in place. off to the side. At the top of the PowerMax Plus console, there's a small door to be lifted out of place, and you may discard that. This is where we will place the adapter that comes with the GSM module for the interconnection to the PowerMax Plus console. Go ahead and place this in, taking note as to the slide areas on the side, so it'll only go in one way and then gently push down on the adapter making sure it's making a great connection to the back of the console. At this point we can go ahead and replace our mounting bracket and secure the screw. Turn it over now. Let's make our connection between the GSM module and the PowerMax Plus console. 